Hey babes, so y'all know those Zara boots that have gone viral on all the socials? You know what I'm talking about, the ones that are the Givenchy shark boot dupes. I got me a pair, I want to open them with y'all and talk all about them. And not only are we gonna go over how they are quality wise, size, fit, all that good stuff, I'm also gonna show you babes a couple of ways to style these things just like any street fashion babe should. So be sure that you stay tuned, it's coming right up. Hey babes, if you are new here, my name is Ashley. Be sure that you do me a favor real quick. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And if you're new here, let's just go ahead and do a thumbs up. That way I know that we got some new people here. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Today's topic, let me get into it right now. So we have the viral Zara boots, which is named as the Gator. So in a nutshell, these are the Givenchy Shark Boot Dupe for the girlies that want that look but ain't trying to spend that price tag, okay? And I'm going to be honest, by the time you're done here, even if you want to spend the price tag, not only are you going to want to get these, if they're still available in your size, you're also going to leave with some outfit inspiration because I'm going to show you three different ways how to style this look bringing it on around town so basically today we're going to do a full review of the boots my honest opinion are they worth the hundred dollar price tag and the fit if you should size up if you should size down or stay right where you're at and we're going to actually um wear the boots with a couple of outfits so let's just go ahead and get into that but before we do let's talk about who i am and why you're even here again my name is ashley Pleased to meet you. I am actually the owner and writer for a blog called eatandbougie.com. Eatandbougie.com is a personal blog, aka website that I developed to talk about what I like to call the bad babe lifestyle, the BBL. Here you're going to find all type of fashion inspiration. You're going to find things of art, culture, and things to do around town where I live at, which is Jacksonville, Florida. So on this page, in addition, again, the fashion, you're going to find really good food spots. Uh, with honest reviews of things to do. In addition to eatingbougie.com, of course, you don't have to slide over there. The main thing is here on YouTube, you're going to get vlogs just showing a day in the life of, um, videos like such, giving you guys fashionable content, showing you outfit inspiration, bougie on a budget, you name it. In addition to the website and YouTube, if you just can't get enough of the BBL, you can find me on all social media platforms. This includes Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, and I think we named them all. So of course, go ahead and get into it. Follow me there, but mainly make sure you're subscribed and locked and loaded here on the YouTube. Let's go ahead and get started. So this boot actually came out, I started seeing it like in September, and I'm not gonna lie, when the babe dropped this, I knew that I wanted them. I already have some boots very similar. I got them from Pretty Little Thing, but they're definitely more chunky and the quality isn't there. So you guys know when it comes to Zara, their stuff is like top tier, top tier. However, the fit can be kind of, kind of wishy-washy. Now for me, I do have a wide foot. I wear a size eight. A lot of the girlies were saying to go up a size, but for me, when it comes to Zara, I usually am good with the size that um, is intended so I did go ahead and get the size 8 plus the 9 was sold out so if you're watching this video and you're trying to get these they did restock recently but I definitely would advise you to go ahead and hit checkout because the girls are on these I'm talking about swarming quick fast hurry go get them now but anyway um, so the overall quality is great as you can see these are actually faux leather, but they look very much realistic. The thing that I love about them, they have the pointy toe, they have the shield just like the Givenchy shark boot. But what I like most about these is the heel height. Baby, it's giving kitten heel, but you really can't even tell because it's covered. So for me, a boot with a low heel is always gonna be a go because it gives me longer coverage. 
now as far as sizing up that is totally optional to you um i do have a flat fat wide foot so with that being said i did have slight before we get to that these do not unzip on the side okay so if you have issues with your calf you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room if you have big calves um i don't have big calves and these i can literally just slide my hand in them um however because i have the other one on it was a little it was a little squeeze getting these things on i ain't feel like taking the other one off i'm just be real with y'all so y'all gonna see the one because once i take this off i'm not putting it back on so y'all gonna see the one not the two <laughs> but anyway um let me show y'all here you can just put your hand in right here at the calf so babes if y'all got big calves you know if you're a little thicker in the leg these probably will not work um now i was going to say they do not zip up they do pull on i don't particularly care for boots that do that without a zipper for obvious reasons you have to wiggle your way back out of them especially with me having a fat black wide foot it's not it's easy for me as it is for y'all girls with the narrow feet it is what it is though but it is not impossible so just keep that in mind um if you want to have a little bit more wiggle room i would say go up a size but if you're okay with squeezing in the boot with the wide foot it's your regular size so as i mentioned before this shoe is 99 dollars. if i'm not mistaken when i went on there they kind of threw one in i want to say they went up to 109 but i will definitely confirm the price um, at the conclusion of this video so um but even still for under 130 dollars, this is an amazing shoe that i would absolutely recommend that you add to your collection so if you've been thinking about doing it do it sis just do it so now that we went over the shoe of course if i forgot anything if you have any questions drop them in the comments that way all the girlies can see and i'll be more than happy to answer whatever um so we're gonna go ahead and get into how to wear these boots and by how to wear them i've actually come up with three fall slash winter looks that you can wear um it's going to range i mean these are pretty high fashionable boots this is not going to be your typical grocery run unless you're just extra um so these are going to be more elevated but casual looks just giving you guys some inspiration on what to do if you already have them um or if you want them or if you have boots similar let's just go okay so for the first look we paired it with this faux leather skirt this is the old skirt that i've had in my closet for a while from shein it just has kind of like a high split but what we did is took a tailored blazer um i also got this from zara and um i buttoned it up and underneath it i simply did a mock neck long sleeve shirt um this is very warm now i don't know what region you live in but like i'm in my house right now and i'm sweating so this is a nice chic slender um sexy outfit for the um bag i actually have this jw pie bag um it looks perfect because it has the gold hardware and i went with the amazon bottega dupes um just giving you a super clubby let's go out to dinner let's hit the city let's just be outside kind of sexy very polished but still that street fashion look next up we we kind of kept the same vibe but instead of a mock neck we actually have a full-fledged turtleneck so i actually got this a while ago from Mignard de bois i don't know if i ever say that name right but this is basically like a multi-color green sweater it has like a slight crop to the side what I love about this sweater is that it has thumb holes. I love any kind of shirt that has a thumb hole. For accessories, I went with these rope earrings. It's from a black owned, woman owned brand called If You Dare Accessories. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get this particular color, but the earrings are fire, flat out. For my bag, I went with the dark green Telfar, basically playing off of the monochromatic green y'all know green my favorite color if you new here you won't figure that out but um basically taking the different shades of green and for my bottom this is also an old piece i got this from zara as well this is just a faux leather skirt so the other piece was a skirt this is actually a skirt 
and you know just giving that sexy again let's go out girl club night whatever i told y'all i don't want to tell y'all where to wear this stuff i just show y'all the pieces wear them wherever you want to baby but wherever you go you gonna turn heads okay babes last but certainly not least this outfit actually came from some pinterest inspo i'm gonna insert the picture right here but y'all i saw this picture and i was like oh my gosh i already have the Bermuda denim shorts. These are absolutely my favorite pair of shorts that I picked up over the spring. These things rolled out with me all summer. These boots are allowing me to bring them over to the fall and winter. So I literally just took those. I took an oversized white button up shirt, which everybody should have in their closet at this point, especially if you've been following me, you should always have an oversized button up. Instead of poking out the sleeves and the collar, I simply kept them in the sweatshirt. And I found this thrifted sweatshirt um, earlier this week for like $2. And um, you just simply pair your sweatshirt over, giving you this cool look to wear with your boots, totally out of the ordinary. So much street style, fashion, flavor, all that good stuff. And it's just something out of the ordinary that someone wouldn't expect you to wear especially with these boots because I get it most people are gonna go for like the sexy girly vibe like the first two but if you know you know this is definitely a vibe too for my bag I wanted to keep it very again elevated casual I went with my mini JW pie bag so 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 love this do y'all see the bling then for the earrings i went with these blinged out fishbone looking earrings i got these from akira but i actually found a pair they are linked in my amazon storefront check them out they're much cheaper and the quality is still there giving you guys again just a fun street fashion look to rock your zara gator boots in gator boots with a pimp top Jesus. so babe that does it for today's video i hope that i gave you guys some clarification on the viral zara gator boots aka the Givenchy sharp boot dupe um are they worth the hundred dollars or i think 109 yes should you size up not necessarily are they good quality absolutely and just keep in mind these are just three simple looks just to give you a little bit of inspiration. But I mean, you can go crazy with these. You could do jeans, you could do whatever. Of course, if you want me to do more styles with the boots, simply drop me a comment. I would love to, um, but I wanna know if you guys are interested. Of course, let me know what you think about today's looks. Let me know what you think about today's content. You know, trying to introduce some new things to the channel, doing unboxing reviews, but you know, it's cool to unbox it and to review it, but to give someone a visualization of how it could look, that always is just takes it to the next level. So if you like this type of content, please let me know. Other than that, be sure that you are locked in by hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, do all that good stuff. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys the most, and I'll see you all next video. Bye.